I hear you. You ready to go in? Are you going to say welcome to Appalachia's homestand? All those people don't like us talking like babies, but we got little kitty kitty kittens and we got to talk like babies. This is uh, Faith and Fritz, is that right? So jealous. Say hi. Okay, so I I did a thing today. I knew I was gonna do it. Let me turn down the air a little bit. So I've got the cage set up. So I want some barn kitties. It's very hard for a person like me because I want every critter just to be in the house. <laughs> and I have to remind myself that. You know, that, that's not always the case. You know, the cow has to go outside every now and then. But um, here's the deal. So when we move to the property, if you've been following us for a while, by the way, welcome to Appalachia's Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. <laughs> I can't help it. Ah, so no joke, no joke, no joke. When we moved here, we brought our barn cat with us and I acclimated him to being indoors. So Mr. Peaches, lives with Mr. Me or my cat. Uh, he's, he's the black cat we have. His name is Bear. And, this, and of course, Miss Mia. All of my cats, every single cat that I've ever had has been a total stray. Um, I've never gone and bought a cat and uh, I've never, uh, you know, adopted a cat per se as far as going to a shelter. They were either strays that showed up on the property or basically kitten strays from somebody else and so that's just the way we roll and we, we like we like little ragtag kitty cats and doggies <laughs> so um i've been wanting some barn cats and so i'm going with the whole training and acclimation of i want it as young as possible they are spayed and neutered um i wanted to support a somewhere a local shelter or society in taking in some very young cats that got along, preferably from the same litter, two of them are, and uh, we're gonna be acclimating them to the barn. So you're gonna meet Miss Ginger, Mr. Fritz, and Little Faith. They're so cute. So what I'm gonna be doing, and you're gonna hear Enoli, because I just brought her in, and I've got Cochise over here. They're gonna be in a large dog crate in up against the gate inside a stall, okay? The goal is to acclimate them first. It's nice and cool in the car. I, I know it, honey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, at least for maybe a week or so, um, they're small enough to where they can be together. We've already tested them together. And the long haired girl, uh, Miss Ginger, see the other two you'll meet or have already seen a little bit of, they're from the same litter. They're kind of like a silver tabby. Uh, Fritz and Faith, and Faith is so little. And uh, they get along great. They were in the same little kennel together at the um, shelter. And then Miss Ginger, she likes a lot of attention. Don't tell James I said this, but if she ends up being an indoor cat, don't be surprised. <laughs> but, I did put Miss Ginger, we, they all helped us and we put them all in the same cage together just to kind of see what they did. And she started grooming the other little kittens. So she, she's kind of like a little mommy cat already. So we're gonna put them together in one larger crate and as they start to grow a little bit more, we'll probably separate them out. Some people say that you can put a cat in a barn, if, especially 
um, feral cats, a lot of those different shelters. If you've done this, talk to me because I, I mean, I, I have my theories and my guesstimations based upon things that I've done. I am probably because they're so little and probably going to keep them, you know, halfway, half the time. If I'm not up here and not working with them or whatever or with them to watch them, probably going to keep them crated a lot, at least for several weeks. They'll have food, water, they're out of the elements, um, and they're going to be close to Cochise. Enoli don't care. Cochise is the one we have to, you know, we have to make him feel like these are my babies. And he, I, I'm, he'll, he'll do that. He does that with all critters now. Has been doing that for a long time. But um, they'll have food, water, a blankie, and a little litter box. And uh, we will probably grow them out and keep them next. You know, so we want to acclimate them to the barn. We want them to grow. Um, the only thing right now that they're lacking is a rabies shot, but we can't do that till they're six months old. Oh, let me get this girl out. Come here. Okay. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. I'm already bragging on you. What are you doing? Are you the cutest thing ever? You need a belt. You need a, you need a really fancy little collar. Should we get some rhinestones? Yeah, you could be like Dolly Parton. All right. Say hi to everybody. See, I'm Miss Ginger, and I'm a stinker. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to put them in the barn. I'm going to give them some water, and I've got to go pick up some items for them. And uh, I'm going to get, you know, all the little things they need here right after we finish shooting this part, so you'll go with us. Some call I want some new collars and um, a, a little litter box. Just, you know, you know the cutie-tootie little kitten stuff. Okay, sister. Listen. Um, he, if you keep working like this, work on the, the big human. Okay? Yeah. If you keep working like this with on the big human, you'll probably take his pillow. <laughs> Good. You see the baby? You see the baby? Um, excuse me, is nap time over, Mr. Fritz? Are you ready to go in here, big guy? Were you sleeping, honey? Oh, he's so tired. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, honey. Oh, good job. What are you doing, little sister? Little sister, don't you? All right, Miss Faith, you comfy cozy. It's nice and cool and cozy in the car, isn't it? Yeah. How you doing, baby? You ready to go inside? Let's go. Okay, Cochise, go lay down. Go. Okay, so I got them in there. I, I got a little hay, and I've given them uh, a little bit of water. I've got to go get all the rest of their items right now. We're going to head back out. And uh, you can see that little, little Faith, she is uh, very standoffish. And uh, Fritz, her, uh, her bigger brother, I wouldn't say her older brother per se, but the bigger um, short-haired tabby, uh, is much more easygoing. Silver tabbies typically are. And then, of course, Miss Ginger, she's just like, well, I guess I'll get used to this. Maybe, I'm not sure. So, just going to leave him alone. Cochise is not aggressive. He just has to check it out. He'll probably be laying in front of the gate. He loves to lay in the dirt in front of things. That's what he does. It keeps him cooler, and he feels like he's guarding, whether it's the baby turkeys, whether it's the baby goats, whatever. Enoli is still very young. She's bonding hard with the goats outside. Cochise goes out and runs for a few minutes every day, and then he comes back in the barn. He's, he's just an old fella, and he, he likes to stay in the barn, guard the inside of the barn. That's what he's always done.
So we let him do that. Enoli is more uh, in the herd with the goats, but I do bring her in from time to time to keep her protected. I'm very protective of my livestock guardian dogs. Uh, Cora is down at the house. I don't let them just roam the property. I know a lot of people do that, each their own, and don't have any problems, but I know a lot of people that do have problems. So my theory is to keep them tight, safe, uh, and close to home, you know, close here. So we're going to see how this whole barn cat thing works out. I hate to call them barn cats because it sounds like I'm just throwing them outside. I'm really not trying to do that. I really want them to be with Cochise, acclimate to the barn, uh, acclimate up in this area. So it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a time process to do that, obviously, because they're just little kittens. So Right now, I'm going to keep them where they are, get them updated with things that we're getting tonight, watch it for a couple of days. If we have to add another cage, which we will, then we will move to that step next. Probably going to move the cage out closer to Cochise. One step at a time, acclimating your animals one step at a, to you know, at a time to where they're together, but they felt, feel like they are in their own domain. And then you just slowly, slowly, you know, ease them out chickens, whatever. This is how I do every one of my animals, and I've never had a problem. Never had a problem when I've done it this way, which I feel is the right way. Okay, honey, we're at the Walmart. Having fun? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna find a little kitty food. They actually have some. What about this? We have pu just Purina. We went to Aldi. I, I was thinking that they had um, kitten food. I don't know what I was, what was I thinking, honey? I don't know. So we're gonna, I think I'll just get the kitten chow. We'll see. Okay, well here's the thing, is they've been on probably pretty standard kitten chow mm -hmm. and a little bit of wet. So we don't wanna totally rock their world. So I think we should just get the regular kitten chow for now. Okay. And then we'll see how they do. And then if we need to change, then we'll gra you know, gradually put something else in to do Sounds. that. Kitty wishes. <laughs> I like these better. Look. Look. Their bowls match my countertop. I love that. Oh, looky. We are vegan cats. <laughs> hey, it's keto. You got a keto cat, James. <laughs> guys I believe we got everything that we needed for at least the next day or two to get them started uh, little ginger is just a little ham she just wants to be loved on and she Cochise is coming over and sniffing and she's kind of putting her paw through he's he's totally accepting these babies Fritz is kind of like okay and of course little faith she's a little bit on the side so not with me and so I sat and loved on them and held them and petted them and um, they've got fresh you know um, food and water and a new litter box and it's gonna get dark it's gonna get dark in here and um, so we're definitely gonna need a bigger cage and um, I think I'm gonna get something for them to kind of go in and play on so it's just one day at a time so we're gonna let them kind of be together though as much as possible in the same cage at least for a couple of days for a while which obviously they're getting along just fine so all right well we appreciate you being here i know you can't see me it's getting dark it's time to put every other critter up and we appreciate you being here tonight we appreciate you following our journey and i just want to encourage you to stay busy 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 keep doing what you can for your homestead and for your farm and your family and uh like subscribe and share we'll keep you posted on these babies they're sweethearts we'll see you on the next video